Well, you know, there were all kinds of motions at Congress and everywhere else to put a little bit more decorum into the presentation of the cup. Well, for me, who wants decorum when you can have natural excitement and exhilaration just like what's down there on the field at this moment? This is what it's all about, and in the midst of it all, people trying just to touch the Sam Maguire Cup. Whether Sean Lowry has managed to hold on to that football or not, I don't pretend to know. In fact, at this stage, I can't even see Sean Lowry in the middle of it all. Ah, there's the cup. Sean! Well, now it's getting a little bit uh, out of control. There is a very strong heave from right to left down there. But one can understand the absolute wild excitement of the uh, Offaly men. I heard Eugene McGee on a radio programme today rather sarcastically say that he wondered whether Offaly should bother turning up or not because everybody wrote them off and said that Kerry were going to win by 20 points. I'm sure he's sitting somewhere at this moment having a little giggle to himself. And so, Kerry for the second time in the history of Kerry football have won four in a row and were foiled for the fifth. Back in 1933, they got to the All-Ireland semi-final and Cavan beat them. In 1982, they got to the final and by one single point, Offaly have caused the greatest upset in football history. And if you were a betting man, you could have five, six, seven to one about the Offaly team. And I wonder the people who laid it, how happy are they now? Well, <laughs> Jerry Carroll. Wild with excitement and also anxious for self-preservation. Meanwhile, many of the other members of the team have broken from this particular melee that's on in under the Hogan stand where the cup was presented and uh, they are wandering down towards the dressing room on our right but they haven't got there yet the minor result Dublin 111 Kerry 15 <coughs> excuse me 111 to 1-5 Dublin over Kerry and in the senior game Offaly 115 Kerry 17 points <laughs> while the crowd beginning to break up down in under us And what a great day it was for Seamus Darby. Seamus Darby, who was on the sideline for two years for Offaly, came back in the Leinster Championship in the Leinster Final, played a blinder for them against Dublin, and then, because of an injury, wasn't on in the semi-final. He came on with about five minutes to go in today's game, and he got the goal that brought Sam to Offaly. Well, we're leaving Croke Park for just a few moments, and when we come back, well, if the Offaly men are down there, we'll be down in the dressing room with Mick Dunn to see if they're speechless or if they have something to say. Very sharp angle, very good point. 